All right, so I have a Sony TCW301 dual cassette deck that a customer brought in to me, wanted to have it checked out, but I have a small problem. It has the Sony proprietary system control cable. There's no audio inputs or outputs on this whatsoever. So it gets its power from the main unit with this ribbon cable assembly. And it looks like there's five pins. So there's probably power ground, left, ground, right, possibly. And then a second one, I don't know which ones record and which ones play, but let's go ahead and take it apart and see what's inside and maybe it just needs a set of belts or something. So yeah, here's one of the decks. And if I just turn the flywheel, look at that belt, how loose it is on there. So I'm gonna say, that's gonna be a major problem because that belt shouldn't be that loose. Let's take a look at the other deck, probably in the same scenario, same situation. Oh yeah, very bad. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is just estimate to the customer to replace a set of belts. Oh, that one's really bad. Look at that slow response. It should snap back like a rubber band, but nope. So, it's going to need a set of belts. Not too major on a deck like this. They're pretty easy to access. The mechanism comes out quite easily. So, it's got two belts. They're both in pretty bad shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and contact my customer and see if he wants to put a set of belts into this. Otherwise, it's not a bad looking deck. It's got a pretty well organized circuit board. Pretty clean as far as the layout goes. No power supply in this one, obviously, because it gets its power from the main unit. Okay, so I've taken the capstan belt and the take-up belt and I've just cut them so I can lay them out flat here and measure them. They look to be almost identical in length. So if I take my tape measure and set it next to them, I read about six and three quarter inches. Now another slightly stretched, so I want to reduce the overall length by about 10%. It's gonna come out to about six inches. So I'm gonna look for a couple of belts that are six inches in length, find a price on them, quote this to my customer, and we'll see if we get the repair. Okay, so the customer approved the estimate. I have four SCQ 6.0 belts from EVG Electro Voice Game is their name, PRB over here. So let's go ahead and tear this unit apart and we'll put these belts in it and hopefully it gets up and running. All right, so I have the front completely disconnected from the main unit. Now we'll go ahead and pull the decks out individually and change the belts. Bad belt. Good belt. So I have the motor out. And I want to go ahead and give it a drop of lube on the bushing. Just like that. Try to work it in and out. So I have my little oiler. And I have my fine machine oil in here and I just give it a little droplet and it should be good. So let's go ahead and put the new belt on it now. You can see the oil down in there. Maybe get a cotton swab and sop that up. All right, so I was wrong in the last video. There's not gonna be deoxid, but there's going to be acetone. Let's prep and clean the new belts. So I put acetone on my paper towel and I'm gonna just rub my belts through it to clean it. There we go. We'll grab another belt, we'll clean it, get it ready. All right, that looks good. All the belts are straight. 
So I still have to clean the one belt that was not damaged, the counter belt. So this belt drives the mechanical counter. We'll give it a couple cleanings, make sure it's all oil free. This will help the belt last many more years. All right, the belt's on. We'll go ahead and put the cover back on it now. All right, deck one is done. Okay, let's pull deck two out and do it now. Even though that's deck A and I just did deck B, but whatever. So let's take the door off first. Doors off, deck is closed. Four screws. The bracket comes off. Let's open the door. The deck is out. So I have to take these two screws out here. That allows this cover to come off. And then the two screws that hold the motor in place. So I'm going to put a mark on the top of the motor so I get it back in in the correct orientation. So next, I'm going to go ahead and just slide this pulley up a bit because I want to lube the motor shaft. and then wipe off the excess with the cotton swab. Put the pulley back down where it was. So we'll get a new belt out. Some acetone. We'll clean the new belt, deglaze it, make sure it's ready for many more years of use. We'll put the cover back on. Now this one does not have the mechanical counter belt like the other one did. So next we'll put the belt onto the take up reel. So we'll get the new belt out, we'll prep it, we'll clean it. Get the acetone back out. There we go. All good. The front's back on. The mechanism is ready to put back in the deck. All right, both decks ready to go. So we just have to put the counter belt back on. It's working good. That belt is actually in pretty good shape. So that's why I didn't replace it. It's not stretched out. All right, so let's go ahead and clean the heads now. I have a cotton swab soaked with acetone. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off the head. This is the record play head. This is the erase head. It erases the full left and right audio. This is the auto stop. Then we'll clean the pinch roller and the cab stand if it doesn't get caught in there. Oh, it's caught. So I just want to scrub the cap stand and the pinch roller. And unless it gets caught, then I gotta pull it out. So sometimes the best way to clean the cap stand shaft is just to put it into fast forward. And just wipe it off. Get the fuzz off of there. We'll do the same thing to the other deck. 
We'll wipe off the head good. This is the dummy erase head because it does not record on this deck. Look at all that that came off. Now we'll clean the pinch roller. Look at all that. So we should be ready to go. Let's hook up some speakers and play a tape. Okay, so I have a tape that I recorded back in, oh my gosh, it's probably 1987. Stevie Nicks, The Wild Heart. That one works perfectly. Let's try the next deck. So if you're wondering why this works, it's because I had the customer deliver the amplifier that goes with this unit because remember when we looked at this in the beginning, this unit does not have connectors. So I had him deliver the amplifier so I could plug this in. It works great, just needed a set of belts. So I wanna give a sincere thanks to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or having me repair your unit like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me norcal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead and leave a comment, a question, a concern down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, so a little bonus footage. The customer brought his tuner to plug into his amplifier to have it checked out. It's working great. Aired on TV like ACM presents our country. Working great. All right, just a little bonus footage. The tuner is working with the amplifier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.